Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, I came up with pretty interesting test today. Uh, it started off yesterday with my with my review or uh, preparing for the review of the Cold Steel Mini Pendleton. I wanted to. I was curious about the rust resistance of the VG, VG1, so I dipped this guy into the water, and it's been about 20 hours now. Yeah, around 20 hours. I didn't time it, but it is around 20 hours. And uh, I, last time I checked it yesterday was last night after about 4 hours or something like that. I don't know, 3 hours. There was nothing. But now you can clearly see after 20 hours, small little rust spot forming. Let me try to focus. You see? There's the, there's the little rust spot. Which will probably be very. It should be easy. I can. I have all different kinds of tools and products. I, I will be able to remove it. But uh, that's, uh, in my opinion, that's pretty decent rust resistance. That's not bad. Twenty hours is a long time, guys. Around twenty hours, deep sitting in the water. That's not bad at all. Come on, try to focus in so you can maybe see it a little better. Yeah, there you see it. And not bad, it's only on one spot, so that's not that bad at all. Okay, and the point is this idea, this this test gave me an excellent idea. I, I mean, excellent, uh, I think it's excellent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test multiple, multiple steels also from the multiple manufacturers you know in within my within the my capabilities the knives i have and steels i have and we're gonna see what's the rust resistance on different types pretty much in the same environment you know it's gonna be the same jar of water same same temperatures same temperature changes and they will be all together so here's our here's our water canister. Just regular water from the from the tap, regular tap water. Funny thing is that I was actually able to clean the look just in these couple of seconds I wiped it right off. It is thanks to the because it was dipped in the water. It was it's the the rust is still soft, so it's very easy easy to remove it. I probably run it a couple of times over the sharp maker, but uh, here's the 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 better version of the test. Yeah, multiple steels, multiple manufacturers. I picked all different for some people. Interesting, interesting uh, steels. Maybe they want to compare, and uh, this should be helpful. First up. This is Gerber, you know, their Mystic Steel. Most likely it's 420J or in uh, within that range. I'm gonna dip that guy in. Very interesting, in my opinion. What I'm looking for is I wanna see the 1055 from Cold Steel. What's the res resistance on that one? That's high carbon, so no big expectation on that guy. But we'll see, maybe it will surprise us. 420C stainless steel from Boker. No, another which should be good rust resistance is S30V from Kershaw zero, to zero tolerance. Now what's another? Here comes two VG tens from Spiderco. Very curious about this. Very curious. So in we go. You can see that I labeled them all to have a uh, you know easier. Point of reference, easy to remember. Aus 8 from Sock, Sock Flash 1, and also Aus 8 from Sock Flash, uh, I mean, there was Sock Flash 2, and this is Sock Flash 1. In we go. Now, very, very curious about this one. 8CR13 MOV from Spider Code, tenacious. Very curious how that one will do. Uh, I want to be careful. I just hate every time I see, I saw a couple of videos of people showing off their new knives, you know, with how, how resistant they are, and they jiggle it around in the glass cup. Oh, 
<laughs> I see red when I see it. I don't know, guys. I I love to use my knives, but I just hate to see like uh, very very careless acts with the with the knives, such as jiggling in the glass cup. That's why my cup is plastic. And uh, this I'm curious. I never actually kind of considered this nine CR. 13 COMOV it should be similar to 8CR 13 MOV, but we'll see. That's the Benchmade Pika from the red line of Bench Benchmade. So we'll see. And uh, here's also a very important part of this test, in my opinion. Time watch, stopwatch. We're gonna keep it running, and uh, I'm gonna try to, you know, check check on it every hour. And uh, if I see some uh, some development, I'm gonna I'm gonna record it and uh, you know let you guys know and upload the video as as we go. You know I'm not gonna do it as one big video because it would be too long. And uh, I'm gonna put the get rid of this rust pad here now on the mini Pendleton, and I'm gonna throw it in there. I wanna see, I wanna see how that, how it will stand up to the challenge. I'm really curious. So, yeah, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. In we go. So, VG1 also in again. And uh, we'll see how they do head to head. Alright, take care guys. I'll see you soon with the updates, stay tuned.